Porque it's the girls and they can cry. Yeah, I'm not sure. Never tried to play that before. So it would uh, take me a while to get the hang of it. Let's dodge that can. We could skip ahead here with the flamethrower, but I like the flamethrower. I'd rather keep it. It's quite useful for blowing up enemies, or guarding them anyway. They still seem to blow up because, well, 90s gear logic. It's just what happened. Oh, shit. You know, things blowing up and not necessarily with any straightforward reasoning behind it was a staple of action games in the 1990s and I have no intentions of changing that. <coughs> blowing things up is generally quite satisfying to be honest. There's a 12 pack of soda up there I think. We'll get it on the way back. Yeah, I can't get up there, uh, no. I could with a flame trap. It's breaking the sequence of the level, I'd like to do this shit properly. It's probably open, so I'm not going to just walk blindly across it. I doubt if you'd be able to walk behind the waterfall in this game. Well, fuck you, you hairy foreskin looking piece of shit. Oh, no, that's not what mine looks like before you start making remarks. Yeah, so, you know, don't go there. Because you wanted to know that, I'm sure. <laughs> Why am I losing subscribers on that channel? I don't understand. I was quite impressed when YouTube did the, the purge. I, th I think I did, like, lost about 30 on my main channel. That's, that's awesome. I thought it'd be like, oh no, I'm going to lose, like, Hundreds of them because they're probably all like inactive or something. But they lost about 30. I'm, I'm quite surprised by that. My audience is even more awesome than I thought over there. No, I, well, I got a long way, you know. I mean, it's not to say it's not awesome over here, it's just there's more audience over there, so. No, it's like that strength in numbers thing or something, that there's more, so... Well, there's just more, so... <laughs> here, now, let's see. Now I've got to go down here. Now, how long is it since I played this game on here last though? I mean... You know, like, when was it? Fucking years ago, it was like 2011 or something, wasn't it? Wasn't I still using that Win TV catcher card back then? What the hell was I using it that late? Yeah, it took me a while to get to digital capture like this. Because I tried doing it for a long time, but I was one of the first people on YouTube to actually do it, but that means I'm stuck with uh, an early version of such things that aren't even meant to do this sort of stuff and it has its problems. <laughs> I would like to replace it when I, I get my new workstation up, for which the memory is on its way as we speak. In fact it's probably only about four hours away from me now. And then its power supply will be the last big cost for it. And the discs will be expensive overall but they're not that expensive one at a time, and I don't think Western Digital is going to stop making the RE anytime soon. And what we're recording this onto right now is uh, two REs in radio, and 
Good God, I've abused them. And they're still running just like they were on day one. They have been a phenomenal fucking hard drive. It, I would recommend the RE to anyone looking for a, a decent mechanical hard drive. It, in fact, an awesome mechanical hard drive. They're fast, they're reliable, they're actually quite cost effective. Like, four terabytes I can get for about 100 to 150 quid now. So, yeah. And, like I say, the, the warranty on them is quite long. And they just work. Uh, quite quiet. You can hear them spin up. Uh, I don't mind noisy drives, but they're not noisy, but they're, they're not like super silent either. By modern drive standards, they're sort of. Oh no, I missed the end! Uh, it was at the bottom of one of the ponds at the start. The second body of water you come to, it's in the lower left. Should I go back and show you? No. Uh, it's easy enough to find, just on the first. We missed the key as well. You know where that key was? It was back when I got the U, so I'm going to have to go back down there now. Luckily there's a fast way down, but... Yeah, I'm going to say that's going to work underwater, so you want to get out of there. It's in... Uh... Actually, I have to go the other way, but... I'm sure I got this. 10,000 points is better than nothing, so yeah. There you go, but I found them all. That's all I said I was really going to do. If it pisses you off that much, maybe I'll re-record the level. In DOSBox! <laughs> hey, everybody's happy for mediocre crap like that anyway, so... It doesn't matter so much if you're just doing uh, a Let's Play like this, but... If you like saying, this is what the game was like, then that's not... That's when I don't agree with using DOSBox without explicitly stating, like, you know, this is running in DOSBox, it may not be accurate. But for something like this, it, it doesn't matter. You're not really documenting the game so much as just playing it for fun. And this game is fun. I, I always enjoy this game immensely, and even now, you know, I'm tired and uh, I still have to fight the urge to go hyper. I, mean, I can't do it like I used to. If you go back to the first part of this, you can see how much I've changed. Just how much the past few years have worn me down, like, physically and mentally. And I'm sort of getting it back a bit, but uh, I don't think I'll ever be quite like I was. But, uh, Oh, you motherfucker. I bet he does as well. Honestly, it seems a type. Fucking motherfucker. Alright. Uh, Is that up there still? I can't see that high. I didn't know they stack shit that high! Okay, fine. Fuck it. Let's get the fuck out of this level before anything else goes wrong. That's a good point. There's a six pack down here. Look at those tiny blocks there. Ooh. Look at that spawn. I guess they don't work so well in there. What's that just like a, yeah, fuck you, last minute thing. It doesn't really do any damage, but fuck you anyway, we're going to put it there just as like a, you know. Still don't think they're real spiders. I suppose that what looks like shadowing on their legs could be Another set of legs, and they're a bit like was it cross spiders or something, where they they sort of keep their legs close together like that in pairs. Oh, that six pack is still there. Okay, maybe I, I can't remember at this time of night. And well, this time of morning, what are we? At? Oh bloody hell! It's nearly 7 a.m. So I'm only going to be recording one more level today, I think. Yeah, this is where the M was, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Good. That's the level. Out of the way! I made a pig's ear of that. I should just record it again and say that I didn't. But, no, because that would be dishonest of me. And I don't do dishonesty, even if I think people will like it better. I don't suppose it matters on this. But I could always just dis uh, disclose I did it again. But it's too late now. I'm just going to roll a smirk anyway. And there's no letters in this stage. 
yeah, I'll probably stop after this level because it's getting late and I, I think it's more than 30 degrees over here. So I'm absolutely sweating. But they should just fall in the slime. I don't want to fall in there because he'll yell car and die, so... Car! <laughs> well, we could flame back over there, but I'll go a long way. But yeah, I double check the map. There's no letters in this stage. It's quite a simple stage, but it's, it's an interesting use of the mechanic, and I've always kind of liked this stage. I just like the, the look of it, the way it's all grey and everything. It's quite oppressive. This is so... Yeah, I don't know, I just don't feel we quite got this same thing in Duke 3 but You could see quite a lot of hints of it in Lame Duke. Not in regular old Duke 3D that we got. Oh no. Well, that's the end of my flamethrower. Now I don't feel as confident. Yeah, that's right, they can't go up for uh, these, can they? I'm not sure why. I wonder how the... You cannot escape, you can... <laughs> what do you want to bet on that? I wouldn't bet on that, mate. You'll lose. Yeah, like I said, there's not much of a threat or anything in here, but it, it does look good this stage. It gives you this... It gives the right vibes. I'm not say. I just like the style of it. Uh, I remember trying to make a mod for Duke 3D while I could do this. I, I, I still would like to make a side scroll mod for that someday. But I, I could do it at a basic level. I just don't have the time to do anything so complicated now. But I figured converting levels like this to it would have been very difficult. I mean, you're going completely against the way the engine's intended to operate. You know, it's not what the build engine's supposed to do. It's what whatever engine this game's on is supposed to do. This, I think, was purpose written for this game, so... If it has a name, I don't know what it is. It's just Duke Nukem 2. <laughs> I just wonder how this game would have looked on a, a Mega Drive. But for some reason, I, I don't know, I just... I think it would have been interesting to see this on a Mega Drive, but it, I don't know how it would have played on the system, though. Would it have lost anything? I mean, it's quite memory heavy, this game, isn't it? It needs like 560k of memory. So, hmm, just not sure how that would have run on a Mega Drive, you know? Maybe not very well. I love that backdrop. So, oh, it's not parallaxing, is it? Well, not multi layer, it's parallax scrolling to the foreground look, but, you know, as in it scrolls at a different speed, but the ring planet in the second layer of buildings. That's one thing I always think with this game, it could have used that. But I guess not. Okay, I'll do this level and then I'll get out of here for the day. But I'll tell you now, this level's hard and the layout sucks. <laughs> 